Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while since I last filmed. A lot has happened. I'm in a new house. We moved. A lot has happened. So I haven't really been able to pick up the camera and film. Just been a lot going on. But I want to pick this kind of back up where I left off. Mainly because I went to Target. I went shopping finally for the first time for baby girl and I bought a few things that I wanted to show but also give kind of an update. So we moved from our apartment to a house. Um, it happened very quickly. We only found out that we were moving within like two weeks and so from us finding out to us actually moving was not a lot of time in between so we were like rushing with that we're all moved in we're all settled we also went on a trip to colombia um so yeah i'm 20 20 22 weeks right now i think last time i filmed i was 15 weeks it was my gender reveal i don't know if you can really see but this is the bum it's a lot bigger but yeah that's the bump date i have it i'm wearing this um jacket thing and i have it buttoned here because i just feel so exposed if i have like a crop top and shorts on i just feel like it's very exposed so now that we're back from our trip we are going to start focusing on the baby shower and now we're going to start focusing on like buying stuff and getting ready for baby she is going to be here in December. Um, our baby shower is at the end of September. Um, I didn't want to do it too close because I didn't want to be too pregnant to where I'm like so uncomfortable. Um, so I feel like September is a good time. It's also around my birthday. My birthday is on the 15th and our shower is on the 30th of September. So October gives me spooky vibes so I didn't want to have it in October. Um, and November would be way too soon. So yeah, so we're prepping for our baby shower. But yeah, so like I said, I went to Target and I finally bought some stuff. We have some clothes now. Um, we have quite a lot of clothes that family and friends have gotten us. Um, so that's really nice. We're happy for that. Um, and we haven't gotten anything except for I got one thing. The, uh, whenever we found out it that we were having a girl. I found a cute little onesie at Target and I bought it, but that's it. That's all the clothes we've gotten. We haven't gotten anything else. So today I just felt like shopping for baby. So basically that's what I did. So I got these cute little onesies from Target. They are a two-way zipper because I heard that that's a lifesaver and that's what you need basically is to have zippers so any clothes that i asked for like for, on our registry i asked for everything to be zippers like instead of like buttons but i'm also so out of breath so bear with me and i got this other onesie this is also one of the zip up onesies from the brand is little planet by carters i guess it's the organic organic one. I got this in newborn. I only got a lot of the stuff I got. Oh no, these are the only two things I got in newborn because she doesn't have any newborn clothes yet. And I don't want to get too many because I don't know how big she'll be or how small, but I want to make sure she has something in newborn. I found this cute little onesie. It's kind of like a cream color um, with little florals on it. It's super cute. This one is a three months and it has the buttons, but it has buttons like all through here instead of just like one way. So that's not too bad and it's three months. So, and then I got this, more sleepers. Um, a lot of this stuff is long sleeve because she's gonna, she's um, gonna be born in December. Um, so it's gonna be colder, obviously the months after. So this is zero to three months. There's a pink one and then there's a yellow one. And then the last onesie that I got is so cute. It has little Mickeys on it. I'm saving this for our Disney day that we're probably gonna have. This one is three to six months. So she'll be big enough to wear and it's so cute. And then I got 
some muslin burp cloths. I put a lot of these on my registry, but I just bought some for myself just because you can never have too many, I feel. And then the last thing I got was this book. On the invitations that we sent out for the baby shower, we requested everyone to bring a book instead of like a card or something because I wanna have like little shelves and have her own little library. So I think that's really cute. Uh, a lot of people do it for baby showers and they can write like who it's from inside or if they wanna write like a little note, they can do that too, just so we know and baby knows who it's from. But I saw this book and it says, it's called Welcome Little One. So this is just really cute. And then on the first, on the first page, you can like write her name. And then it says, you were born on this. The time of day was this, your hair color, your eye color, your weight. And then basically it's just really cute. It's like a love note, a love letter to you is what it says. So I think this is gonna be really cute to have in her little library and to read to her. Maybe not like newborn young, but like when she gets a little bit older, obviously. But yeah, so that's all I got from Target. And I really wanted to show you guys because I'm just so excited that I finally went shopping. This is the beginning of all of our shopping stuff. So I'm excited. It's hard because like I made a, the registry and everything for a baby shower and I just, I see the stuff that I put on there and I wanna buy it. But like obviously everyone tells me like, just wait, everyone's gonna get you most of the stuff for your baby shower and whatever they don't, um, you get like a coupon code or something for wherever your registry is at. So that's cool. So I'm just gonna wait. That's another reason why we wanted to do our baby shower a little bit sooner um, because then whatever we don't get for the baby shower, we have time to get on our own. Um, so it's not like a rush. Oh my God, I'm so out of breath. And it's so hot. It's like disgustingly hot. This morning we walked Cooper and I literally felt like I was gonna pass out. I was like, I can't do this. So I still want to do a first trimester recap, um, even though I'm well into my second trimester. Um, I, I think it's important that I do that only because whenever I was looking stuff up when I first found out I was pregnant, that's what I was looking for is like first symptoms and how you knew you were pregnant and like all this stuff and what was kind of normal to feel and stuff like that. Everyone is different, so there's not really a normal, but there's common symptoms. So that those are things that I looked for when I first became pregnant. And obviously like you can't really tell people in that stage. So <clears throat> I did a lot of like research on my own. So I think it would be good to have for anybody else who's searching for the same thing. So I'm still going to make a first trimester recap video, basically explaining all of that. Hopefully I can be consistent, be more consistent um, here throughout our journey. Um, but it's just been hard, like being consistent is hard for me. So even when it comes to like taking Polaroids of my bump every week, like I just feel like I felt bloated and had like a mini bump for so long. And then one day I woke up and it was just like a full on bump. So I didn't really take photos. I maybe have two bump photos and that's it. So I want to try to start doing that and see, but yeah. Oh, another thing that I wanted to show was um, her little hangers in her closet. I got the cute little velvet hangers, like the baby hangers on Amazon. And then I also got these dividers that um, organizes your clothes by month. So it goes from newborn, zero to three, three to six, six to nine and so on, all the way to 24 months. So that's super helpful. And it looks like this. She has nothing in here right now, um, but this is all the clothes that family has gotten her and friends. The only thing I have bought is this. So cute, but it's about to be a full in here. But look at this denim skirt. I mean, denim dress, I can't. So cute. But I think it's so helpful to have these dividers in there um, because you, everything is organized and it's a lot easier to grab. So yeah, I wanted to show that really quick. Those are also from Amazon. I saw that on like Reels or TikTok or something and I thought it was amazing. 
an amazing idea because obviously you're going to get a lot of clothes and just in general um, it's nice to be organized okay well that's it for now and i'll see you guys in the next clip Good morning guys, it's a couple days later. I just tidied up the living room um, really quick. But I wanted to show you, yesterday Juan and I went to look at paint colors. We are planning our baby shower, it's at the end of September. And um, I have my backdrops from my wedding. We did a DIY seating chart, so I wanna repurpose those for the baby shower. So we just have to change the color. But we went to look at paint colors yesterday. So I just wanted to show you. I wanted to do like a pink color and then like a neutral white color, but not completely white. These are the three that we ended up liking. And then one of these we got also to test for the baby's room. We're not gonna paint all four walls pink. We're gonna have like beige color walls and then one wall will be like the accent wall and then that will have the color on it. So I got two different pink colors to test. So these are the colors, These are we just got samples to try. So we have these two pinks, and then this one is like a white beige color. And then let me show you the backdrops. So these are the backdrops. We peeled the names off of them because um, they had names from like a Cricut. So we peeled those off on both. This one has like a point and then the other one has an arch. So one of these is gonna be painted the pink color and one of them is gonna be painted the, um, the cream off-white color. So that's what we're gonna do today. We don't have too much planned, um, but today I am 23 weeks. It is Tuesday, so I start a new week every Tuesday. Here is the bump date. You can't really see it because I'm wearing black, but she's there. These biker shorts are barely fitting me. Thank God they're like stretchy, but. So I'm gonna paint those panels hopefully later today and then see if we end up like, I wanna, I wish I had a paintbrush. That's one thing I forgot to get so I could sample it before I paint the whole thing but I don't know, we might have to stop somewhere and get a paintbrush, but hi Cooper. I have Jersey Shore on as always. This is like my comfort show. Like this is just background noise. I just love to have it on. Cooper, what are you doing? You're such a stalker. Why are you creeping? Oh my God, I did such a bad thing last night. I turned a candle on um, and I left it on all night. I woke up this morning and I smelled the candle and I immediately ran and I was like, oh my God, and it was still lit. Thank God nothing happened. That's like terrible of me. In my defense, it was in kind of a place that's like hidden. Like it was in the guest bathroom and I just forgot that I had it on. We left it on all night, so, so bad, but thank God everything was fine. But I was like, how stupid can I be? Oh my God. We're on the way to PetSmart to get Cooper some vitamins and then to Lowe's to get a paintbrush or like two paintbrushes and then a primer to prime the boards. And then we're going to Ohana for lunch. I'm so excited. Never been. Juan was able to find a reservation. So we're going at 345. Can't wait. I'm gonna eat all the noodles. And what is it, a coconut bread pudding that they have? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. We just left Target because uh, we're trying to kill time and we got kitchen towels. And that's it. Our reservation is at 3.45 and it's only 2.45 right now. So we're gonna go there and hope that they let us in early. We 
just got back from eating at Ohana's. It was so freaking good, but we're so full. Juan says he has the meat sweats and he is laying down right now. I want to prime the, the backdrop boards. At least prime it. I don't know if I'm gonna completely paint it today, but I wanna prime it so then that can dry. So then when I am ready to paint it, then it's ready. I want to do it right now, but it's so hard to get. Okay, so I finished one. I'm literally sweating to death. Okay, so I primed one. This one's ready. Oh my god, it's so effing hot. So I'm taking a break before I start the other one. <laughs> Alright, so one came out here to help me with the other one. This is the arched one. Almost done with that. And then I think we are going to let these dry tonight and then I might paint it tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. This one's already dry. So maybe later I'll paint. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see like an hour. I don't know. We'll see. It's so hot. I look a mess. He took a nap, so he's good. <laughs> okay, so it's a few days later, um, probably like a week later. I've been sick this whole week. Um, I had like a cold. So it's the next week, but I just got home from lunch and our stroller just got here, so I'm so excited. I wanna unbox it right now, but I wanna wait for Juan. He's gonna be here soon. He's gonna be mad if I do it without him. Um, but I'm so excited. This is the first baby thing that we've ordered besides clothes. So this is the first like actual item that we are using for the baby. So I'm really excited. Um, we didn't get the car seat yet. We know which one we want, but we put it on our registry because our family told us to do, to do that. We were going to buy it ourselves, but they were like, you should put it on the registry. And so we were like, okay, so... We just bought the stroller. We got the Nuna Mix, I believe. I have to double check, but I think it's the Nuna Mix. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. It's already here. It's delivered. So I'm going to bring it inside. Uh, I don't know how heavy it is. So here she is. Okay, so I'm going to try to bring this in, and I'll be right back. Here she is. It's the Nuna Mix next. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for Juan to get here so we can unbox that together. But also we went yesterday and got the color, paint color that we're gonna paint baby girl's room. I think I mentioned this before, we're not doing the whole room. We're doing just one wall, like the accent wall. So this is the color. And then we tested it out on her room yesterday with a paintbrush to make sure that we liked it. But I'll show you. So here's the color. All we do is paint an L. That's gonna be the first letter of her name, um, just so we could test out the color. But it's really nice. I like that it's pink, but it's still like a neutral pink, so it's not too pink. Um, but yeah, so that's what this wall is gonna be. And then the rest of the walls. Right now, it's kind of like a grayish color. But we're gonna do, we're just gonna paint the other walls white. Um, not pure white, but more like a neutral white color. So it brightens it up a little bit because whatever color's in here now kind of makes it feel a little dark and there's only one window. So this is the first step of her nursery is us painting. So I'm really excited for that. And then once we get the crib and all that stuff, we can like set that up in the dresser. Um, the crib is also on our registry, but I think we're going to get the dresser ourselves and then start, I can start organizing her clothes and stuff like that. Juan is getting this stuff to paint and then he's going to paint in here. I'm going to help if I can. Right now I'm just going to hang out until he gets home feeling a little sick. So I just want to rest, but I actually put makeup on today and did something different with my hair. 
I got myself together because I feel like I'm never, I just always look a mess, but. Okay, so once back, he brought some food, so he ate and I took a nap while he was eating. And we haven't unboxed the stroller yet, but we are starting on painting the wall in baby girl's room. So I'll bring you along with that and show you a little bit. He's prepping the walls. It's almost done. Super, we can't be in here. It's just so Yay! Oh, that's so cute. I'm not much help, so I'll come back whenever it's built. It's all ready. Wait, is there a lock on the wheels? Yeah. How do you do that? Well. That's easy. Does it go on the actual seat or on the stroller? What does it say? This has a square and is it oh. Mm. Woo! Now it's officially done. I'm gonna go on hot mom walks with this. <laughs> Push it. Those wheels are like serious wheels. They're like, they're like shocks. Oh, we're gonna have our baby in there soon. So cute. Lays all the way flat, and then this goes up like that. And then it has this attachment for the car seat. Be that way. Wow! And then the car seat's gonna be. Yeah, that can move higher and shorter, but we're short, so we need it on the shorter side. <laughs> oh, is that to close it? Ooh! That's gonna be easy when we just have the car seat. It's easy. Yeah. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here after we unbox the stroller and stuff. We just took Cooper for a walk and now I'm just like lounging around. I don't really feel too good so I'm going to eat. Juan got us um, pub subs so I'm going to eat my sub right now and then just hang out on the couch. So this vlog is kind of going to be all over the place because I filmed it like such so different times but yeah that's going to be it for today's video. Um, keep an eye out for the next video and I will see you guys later. Cooper's eating dinner too. <laughs> okay. Ugh.